Smoke, red tatters. More bandits like the ones at Devil's Thirst. to get off my feet. useful.
My focus is receiving another signal. Grapes. about to have some fun. Incoming! Fire off the signal! The land will wake up the whole camp. And more besides. I saw some of the places you've been. The new settlers have no appreciation of craft. They'd already piled your work in a ditch. I need the signs to look for. The scrabble in the dirt. Those surprised splashes. And I did tell you we'd meet again. No. Still hunting bandits? Yes. I've been sharpening my blade, anticipating the son of the fight. But don't get me wrong. These scum are wrong. A little panic and desperation really sets it off, though. Like an insult. So, what's your knife called? Why would someone mean a knife? So much for small talk. Are you ready? Just don't think this means I enjoy it. Don't worry. We'll take your secret to their graves.
bandits imprisoned these people. It's a bloody rat! Seeker, may I speak with you? I'm honored. I... All mother be praised. Are you alright? Is there something you need? Yes. My friends and I watched you clear the bandits out of this camp. We're glad. They would steal from us. Chase us through the night laughing. We're outcasts, not braves. Almost defenseless. How did you all come to be here together? You wonder how we speak to each other when the law forbids it. But what hope do we have here, outside the embrace, alone? I wasn't judging you. I was an outcast once. Forgive me. You're right to ask. I convinced them to speak. I told them we were only sentenced to be outcast, not to die out here. An intelligent approach. We are all outcasts, but we need to stay together to survive. This camp we once hated could serve us well now. Would you let us stay here, even if it flies in the face of the Matriarch's laws? Of course, by all means. Oh, I'd hoped you'd say so. You... you're an inspiration to us. Thank you.
Remember how the blood pounded in your ears? They'll rain later, in the car. It's a call to arms, from your own desires. Or a cry for help. I wouldn't fight. I can tell. So you used to be a soldier. You fought for the Karja? Oh, for them, against them. An empire always finds its wars. You can't be picky. The new king of Vod saw things differently. Called an investigation of war crimes. Aren't all wars a crime of someone? Still, I raised my hand and volunteered. You volunteered to investigate? No, I volunteered my confession. No sense wasting time with the investigation. I was sent to Sunstone Rock for two years. The trade was fair. They sent you to a rock for two years? Is this some kind of Karja ritual? No, no. Sunstone Rock is a prison. South of Meridian, south of the Rain Gathers. Our new Sun King is a believer in rehabilitation. As am I. In the heat of a stone cell in the dark, I learned to focus on what was truly important. Have you found a new partner yet? I thought we were partners. I have my own roads to follow now. And they seem to lead back to bandits. That works for me. I'm not suggesting a card or wedding. I'm never lonely when there's killing. Time to move on. A brief encounter for us, but the end for them. They were squalid lives anyway. up another signal. Must be closing in on the signal.
should be a good spot for jumping onto the tonic. Okay, time to climb up to its head. Gonna be a problem overriding that lance horn. Catching it though.
This has to be the Banuk camp that Vilgen told me about. So what happened to the other mercenaries he sent? The machines are docile. It's like they've already been overridden. Anyone can commune with the machine spirit. <laughs> this is how the Banuk must have gotten up and down the mountain. First blood, but it will require cunning. I'm glad to see you all. The last hunt was a good one. Struck swift as snow, and none will be going hungry. To see these machines up close like this, it's... Grazer dung. I'm sorry? Frozen grazer dung. This ravager led me here. I chased it down from the rivals, where it killed a great ice hunter. Tore him in two. A challenge I accepted, but when it reached this camp, the fury left it. Isn't that a good thing? Takuk says it's a gift. Pfft. What is a gift but a reward that you didn't earn? The machines are meant to challenge us. Now I'm stuck here guarding the shamans. The last hunt was a good one. Struck swift as snow. None will be going home. Shaman, you're trying to understand the machines here too? Yes, Nora. And taking my time with my studies. Between you, me, and the spirits, I appreciate the peace. Not just from the machines. There are many changes in Ban Ur. The hunters and shamans bicker without end. What about? How best to deal with a harsher world. The hunters, they don't want it back the way it used to be. And we shamans find ourselves able to explain less and less. So many are exiles now, sent to wander. Here, no one argues. So. I welcome mystery. A place where the machines walk in peace with mankind. A blessing.
swift. This is how the Banuk must have gotten up and down the mountain. What are we doing here? Every idle moment is another mile between us and the herd. Some other Werax after our herd. We'll claim first blood, but it will require coming. Spears reveal themselves to you. We should head north. North where the ice and snow calls. Greetings, Nora. I am Tikuk. Shaman. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> the blue light is strong here. My people traveled far from the heights of Ban-Ur to experience it for themselves. The blue light? The light of the machine spirits. It is all around us. It settles upon us. This is how it used to be, before they grew angry. I... I know about the derangement, but I didn't think the machines were ever this calm. What is it about this place? We don't really know. We sing, and we listen to the machine songs. The machines sing to you? To each other. You are a hunter. You must have heard. Their communions and hymns, their calls and cries. We're not meant to understand, but we shamans try to interpret. What is the song that angered them so, that turned them upon us? What song soothes them? Does it thrum in the air here, just outside of hearing? How can we heal the machine world? Tikuk, have any other Outlanders come through here recently? Some Asaram, yes. They were convinced the machines were malfunctioning. As if machines were mere devices in need of repair. Well, that is how the Asaram see the world, is it not? They ate with us. Then, when they were satisfied there was nothing they could explain, they left with the Northern Light. What's with the big guy? I was drawn to this place in a storm. At first, I thought the keening was the wind, snapping off the mountain's frozen face. But no, it was the Thunder Jaws song. I found it crouched on its haunches, its metal unmoving, and I took shelter beneath it. When the storm cleared, its singing done, perhaps the spirit left its great shell, or perhaps it slumbers and remains. So we have not stripped and gleaned this one. We treat it with the care it is owed. Do you mind if I look around more, Tikuk? Speak, trade, listen. You are welcome. No harm will come to you here. So it's not the Banuk that are doing this. There's something about this place. They can't see it, but maybe my focus can. songs in your name. Honor to your word.
This is how the Bernoulli must have gotten up and down the mountain. There, a signal. And the source is at the top of the mountain. I better look into it. Talks are just waiting. I could see my house. Oh, you're jumping shard person! Did Vilgun send you? I guess shards can buy a conscience. <laughs> Never mind that. Nora girl, you have to stop the others. Up ahead, we snuck up. Uncovered some kind of ancient device, plain as an anvil. That's what affects the machines. The other bungheads voted to take it to Pitchcliff for auction. But it's taken a beating already. Like it dropped from the sky. We tried to stop them digging it out. Without that thing up here, those Banuk will be massacred. I'll stop them. You two get out of here. It sounds like you've already done enough damage. Well, that's a fair appraisal. Chuff skulls. What have you done? Who are you? You're not one of those Banuk. <sighs> Too late. Let me look at it. Hold on, hold on. This was our Dell. We did the work. You want to put your axe in? What's this thing worth to you? I don't know about this. This was your idea. You started it, you can finish. All right. Could be this thing's just scrap, but even scrap has a price. So I'll ask again, what's it worth to you? It's worth more to me than you are. You still want to negotiate? Forget it. All he's ever given me is black toes. <sighs> They've made a mess of this. Catastrophic malfunction. This is from long ago. And it's been sending a signal all this time. Fading out. I have to get back to the camp before the machines tear it apart. No, they've already started attacking. The machines are angered. Keep your distance. Hunters, defend the camp. Do what you must. Yes. Roar and rant at me. I don't fear it.
can't count too many. But now your you'll up. hear my song, machine. A sharp <gasps> song. at me. I don't fear it. Now you'll hear my song, machine. A sharp song. There was only a side effect. I did it. He's not going to be happy about this. Nora, did you know this change would come upon us? Not exactly. Although I know there is a lot changing in our world. This time it was outsiders. Those Asuram thought. The Asuram do not think. They will never understand the balance between us. Between man and machine. Now the blue light has gone. And we are left with many songs but more for mourning than gratitude. So what now? Will you go back to your homeland? When we teach the young to walk on shifting ice, we say, the secret is taking one step, then the next. Perhaps one day, we will understand the machine's mysteries. I hope so. Good luck, Teacook. Adventurers, preferably Outlander. Are you looking for? Wait, I know your face. <laughs> you came back. <laughs> How did we fare? Expensively. That's what I was afraid of. The tame machines. It's hard to explain, but there was a kind of signal that calmed them. Your men got greedy, so it's gone now. Gambling's a shoddy job, girl. I should have been a weapons dealer. That's steady work. Here, take it. The half I'd owed those hammer-handed chunks. Half? I finished the job. And what was it you said? Enough to buy a more becoming garb? What do you want? Cards of silks? Ah, hoisted on my own purse strings.
here and do nothing about the Karja and Shadow. Something of Vaj and their rebellion. It's a bit frivolous, isn't it? Thank you. 